great challenge. Uh, welcome back to my channel and uh, I guess we're gonna do a vlog slash day in the life today. It's kind of late uh, because you know obviously I have to put myself together and this takes a long time. Okay, it's 9.30. I'm gonna have breakfast. The dogs are in the yard enjoying themselves. This is really working out for us. We still walk them, don't worry. They still get walked. But I have some things I need to do today. For one, I have to call co-workers who are working on Saturday because there's some uh, issue going on and I have to do like a supervision. So I, I'm going to be on the phone and on the computer for about an hour. And then uh, I'm going to go to the Willing Hearts to see what they have for sale um, that I can resell. And today I am beginning the corner desk for my sewing station. So there'll be a trip to the Home Depot, some wood cutting, some measuring twice, cut once hopefully. And then a little bit of chit chat here and there. And then tomorrow I'll pretty much do the same thing. I'd like to finish that desk uh, over the weekend. Now next week, I'm off Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, but I'm working Friday. So I don't know what I'm going to do on those three days, but I got to be honest, I don't want to do something like, like really involved only because it's like a mini vacation and I'd like to rest. Uh, it's been really hectic at work lately. We have folks who had to um, put themselves in quarantine and we are really low on staff. And uh, I, I'm working up until seven, eight o'clock uh, on top of everything else. So <sighs> I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, today is the day I'm starting the desk, so um, I'm just going to make myself breakfast, some eggs with toast, maybe I'll film that a little bit, and then um, after that we'll get started with the day. <laughs> basement and um, that's a street find <laughs> isn't it cool it's very pretty I think it's very very pretty um, but anyway these are the two dresses I told you about that I'm going to use as the base for a uh, corner table that's gonna go like this as a sewing table so my chair will go here and then I'll have the sewing machine right here and it will give me this whole space here to um, sew. However, I do have, I'm sorry, the lighting is kind of wonky here, right? <laughs> uh, I have to measure and I have to decide um, how I'm going to build it. Um, I don't know if I can do it as one piece or if I have to do it as three pieces and I'm gonna show you why. So ideally it would have to be uh, one piece because then I can just have the one piece put this way and then have some uh, brackets here to make sure that it doesn't you know, tip and I plan on screwing it in with the top. However, I'm not sure if it's going to fit in the car. <laughs> That's the problem if I have one piece. So I'm going to measure it both ways. Um, and then I'll go measure the uh, the car. So if I'm doing it with one piece, that's an easy fix. We get one piece like this as an L, but then I'll cut the angle here and then I'll have to cut the angle there. If I'm doing it as separate pieces, it's going to have to be three pieces. Why? Because there's going to be the piece in the middle that's going to have to be stabilized on both sides. So that piece will go up to here, just about, and then I'll have to add another piece here and then it will go up to here or just about and add another piece here. Because if I do it in half and half, then I'll have the seam in the middle and um, it won't have any stability. So I'm going to measure both ways. I need to make sure that I have enough room here for my chair. And then I'll go to Home Depot and get either one piece or three piece cut, depending on what can fit in the car.
so it's starting to look a little bit complicated, but I think I got it. Um, I think I can manage with two pieces and putting it on top of the roof of the car. Um, Alright, so if I do two pieces, I'll have one large long piece that's 61 and uh, what is it, a half here? Yeah, 61 and a half, that gives me enough, uh, by 49. Okay, that gives me room to cut the notch here at the corner. That gives me room to cut it here and here to do the angle and here, right? And then I need another piece right here that's 14 by 19 to get the rest. So I'll put the brackets here and here, right? And then all of this will have to be uh, cut. So worst comes to worst, I'll put it on top of the car. Um, the biggest issue is finding a piece that's 61 and a half. I don't know if that's available. I have a feeling that it is and I need to get um, particle board, well not particle board, what do you call it? The name escapes me. I know you're all screaming in your living room the name of the wood. I've been using that wood forever now to do all sorts of projects. I can never remember the name of it. It's pressed something. Um, but anyway, it's got to be heavy and it's got to be sturdy. One, because I don't want it to warp. Two, because it's got to be able to support its own weight. Um, and three, because it just looks better. And then I'll get the little baguettes to put around the uh, half um, rounds. You know, this quarter rounds and half rounds. So that's going to finish up the edges. And I need to get uh, the pieces that are on the top to do a ledge uh, on the side. I have screws. I have um, the uh, liquid nail. I have uh, paint. I have everything I need. Oh, I need putty. Okay. First things first, I'm stopping by uh, Willing Hearts before all the good stuff gets off the shelves and then I'll go to Home Depot. This will be my project for the weekend, so it's obviously going to be two videos. Um, I have a lot of stuff on this side here that needs to be processed. There's going to be a lot going on with Etsy soon. I'm probably going to spend some of my vacation time next week to do that because um, I got to move stuff and uh, that's about it. So let me get going. So I'm going to Willing Hearts in Coldwell and I go there once a month. Um, sometimes there's nothing, sometimes I got three boxes worth of stuff. And Scott's with me today. So I'm going to take you inside and we're going to see what they have. Uh, it's actually a consignment shop um, slash thrift shop and I really, really like it.
yeah, it's always an adventure with me. So here we go. We got one big piece and then a second piece. And that's on the roof because 48 inches, it was supposed to be 49. It doesn't fit in the Subaru. So hopefully this doesn't slide off. I think we should have a pickup truck. <laughs> Don't you think we should have a pickup truck? <laughs> You good. should. I should. I should have a pickup Just truck. Just for you. J oh yeah. I would love to have... These are all your projects. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, uh, what is it? The Dodge Ram with yeah. the uh, double cab in the back. Oh, that'd be great. Or oh, even the uh, uh, Ford 150. And uh, so it'd be great for garbage picking. <laughs> it'd be great for projects like this. Because before you know it, I'm going to destroy the Subaru. Um, so we're going to go slow and we have the hazard lights on. Uh, and hopefully this thing will not move. Um, I tightened it pretty well, but we'll see. So we made it and uh, no problem. So guess what? I have an issue with... Uh, eating lunch when I'm stuck with projects. Well, stuck. It's not really stuck when I'm in the midst of a project. So I'm making sure I'm eating lunch before I start cutting anything because I really don't feel like going back to Home Depot get another piece of wood. You know what I mean? So I gotta do what I'm supposed to do first, which is nourish myself and make sure I don't, um, you know, make mistakes. So I'm just gonna make myself a soup Scott is reheating some pizza. Um, and it's the same kind of soup that you guys have seen me do a gazillion times. Well, I barely have any spinach left. I'm just putting a bunch of stuff um, in the pressure cooker with some meatballs. Lately, I'm just putting a frozen bag of California medley. It makes me eat lots of vegetables. I just dump that in there. Plenty of broccoli. A few meatballs. Vegetable stock. Close it, that's it. And then I add a little bit of uh, Parmesan cheese when it's done. So five and six. So six meatballs I've calculated is 300 calories, and then the California medley is, oh, age. <laughs> it sucks. Okay, three, four, four cup is 25, this will serve so it's uh, 100, so 400, and a little bit from the um, vegetable stock and the olive oil. Um, so it's 450 calories basically for a huge bowl of soup that's going to blast me or stick to me for quite some time. So here's my big soup and I actually didn't even fill up the whole bowl. I have some left over for tonight. I think I only have like maybe four meatballs in there. So I'm going to eat that and then I'll go downstairs and start building my desk. Okay, I had lunch. Uh, hold on. Work phone, regular phone. And this is basically going to be, well, obviously the main piece. Okay. Right. What I need to do first is recreate the angle right here on this. so that I can cut it and push that in. Then I have to figure out where I'm cutting uh, or trimming rather uh, on this side and on this side. Um, remember I'm putting an additional piece right here because this once I push it in is not going to be the full thing. So it's two pieces, one big piece here that's the L shape and then the extra to finish covering and it's going to be a seam so that's going to have to be puttied and sanded well so that way it looks like one piece um, because I couldn't do one piece they don't sell them as one piece um, they have the length if I wanted 62 or whatever these are 94 I think by 48 48 is the uh, largest or longest they have in width. Um, 
I'm rambling. Anyway, I need to calculate this up to here. I'm going to draw it directly on the table. Okay, so if this goes this way. So this is eight and a quarter, right? But I have to take into account the little ledge that I'm going to put, right? So you see, this is what I'm talking about. I got to start thinking if I'm putting the ledge, it's going to push uh, by three quarter of an inch all of my measurement, but I can still put the ledge on this because I have enough room, enough wood overhanging on both sides that I can still trim it. It doesn't really matter. It's not going to affect it because if I have to start cutting and then adding a three quarter here, three quarter there, this is a guarantee I'm going to make a mistake. So good thing I got enough wood, at least in width. Uh, I'm going to make that notch. I'm going to draw it first and then cut it, place it, and then we'll see where we're at. Ah, and I gotta add the ledge here too. <laughs> I knew I had to do something with the ledge. Okay, so three quarter of an inch is what I'm supposed to have here. I don't know if you guys follow. My brain works in, in mysterious ways, I know that. Okay, so this is the ledge here. I gotta take that into account. Okay, right. And then there's another ledge, can you see? Right here, right? The one that's gonna be on this. So it's this plus three quarter of an inch. So all of this comes out. Now, this is actually three quarter of an inch too big here and here. Can you see what I'm doing? Because there's a ledge here. Here and here. So I need to cut here and here and then I'll be able to insert it but I have to add the ledge. ledge here because of the way I calculated should fit right here like this see that guys okay but I can't put this ledge on yet because I don't have the piece that goes here okay so this goes there and we good over there I need to figure out how much I cut on the other side So what I'm doing right now is um, saying where, uh, don't need that, where that angle is going to be. So I'm leaving a little bit of an overhang, only because I don't want it to be straight 
um, let's see how the drawers open. Yeah, I want it to go a little bit over where the drawers are. So this is going to go this way. Okay, so. Here. And then the other one I started drawing, but it's not meeting yet, so it's gotta go this way. Okay, so right here is where the two meet, okay? But there's going to be an angle uh, somewhere around here. I gotta figure out how much the angle is. Uh, 25 and a quarter. So from here to here it's 25 and a quarter. So just about here we got 25 and a quarter right here from here wait on the second one good thing I checked the angle goes from here to here I just checked the chair and the chair is 19 something so it fits in there, perfect, perfectly snug in there. Um, let me go ahead and cut this. I have to figure out a way how I'm going to go from here to here. I'm sure I can come up with something. Um, but it's looking pretty good. I'm almost done, would you believe that? Almost done. So I'm right at the point where I'm almost at the uh, juncture between the angle and this and I know I can't flip this 90 degrees so what I'm gonna do is try to round it how about that sewing machine right here so this definitely needs to be secured on the other side uh, this needs to be pushed in a little bit here I just got to uh, affix it to the top now and do the anchors on the other side do the other um, here and there, uh, the other lip, right? And then I still have to add this piece, and then I gotta sand everything and paint. Well, painting's gonna happen tomorrow, but this is pretty good. Now, here on this side, obviously it's not stable, so that's why I gotta stabilize it on the wall. Okay, so it's done. Uh, I've decided to just nail it and not glue it onto the dressers just in case one day, you never know, I decide that I don't want it here anymore. Well, I could move it anyway because it's not attached to the wall. But in case I just want to, you know, pull it apart, it'll probably be easier to fill in a few holes here and there rather than trying to, um, you know, salvage something that had glue on it so I have to countersink the nails a little bit and then in the back here um, I do have a nailer so basically this is not vibrating and it's pretty solid so I have my sander here and what I need to do is sand all the edges <clears throat> all around here and here and here 
so that I can apply my decorative strip which is this half round right here uh, that has a little bit of a design and that's gonna go in with um, I forgot the name of the nails I'm getting tired so obviously I can't find words anymore but you know what I'm talking about it's the disappearing nails whatever they are they don't have a head um, I forgot the name it's but something whatever all right let me send It's done. I just have to paint it. Well, I have to caulk it and paint it. So I do have the little trim all along and I am rounding it here. And this is going to get filled with a little bit of putty so I can really, really round it. Um, in the front here, it's going to look great. I just got to uh, fill it in with putty. And then I have to caulk all of the seams. Here, in particular here, for some reason, there's a little gap. Um, I already started decorating uh, with my little happy place sign that Susan sent me and then the little brief um, swag that um, Liz made for me. And I put the uh, painting back, so let me show it to you from this angle. And it's a big mess on the other side, so I'm not going to show you what the other side looks like because all my tools are there. Uh, but this is this is great this is just great um, so I'm really really torn as to whether or not I want to punch a hole in here for um, the cables there's enough room for them to go underneath uh, let me pull back a little bit so I don't think I'm gonna do that because I think it's just gonna look ugly I don't know um, I, I I just don't want to do it um, because what if I get another machine and the cables on the other side or they in the back do you know what I mean so it's just uh, I nah because I know I'll get a better machine at some point so this is my little sewing corner here on this side and I'm super happy um, eventually I'm going to spend time um, reorganizing what's in here I found at the store today uh, when I went to um, when I went to Willing Hearts. I found some drawer liners uh, that are really pretty. Um, they're kind of floral, a little bit more beige than this, but I think they will look fine. And wow, just wow! Okay, let me get the cold gun. I have to cork all of this. It's six o'clock. Um, I'm going to do that and then when I see you tomorrow I'll paint it and oh you want to see me at the desk don't you hold on when I come to sew here I am with my machine right here uh, I have enough room in the back I have room here I can grab my stuff I hated the fact that I had to get up constantly to go get uh, a new bobbin or whatever. I constantly had to get up and now I don't, everything is going to be there. This is really sturdy because I put the nailer underneath it. Um, there's not going to be any vibration. This has nails everywhere it's supposed to. I'm very happy. <laughs> I'm very happy. Um, what a productive day! Could you believe I built this in one afternoon? Um, I'm not surprised because I'm a maniac and I really really wanted that done. You know why? Because I'm on vacation for three days next week and I really want to get some time sewing and um, I need to have this done. So, yes! So it's caulked and... or oh, caulked? You know what I mean. Um, and uh, it's ready to be painted and I spent about 20 minutes 
cleaning the rest of the basement, um, vacuumed everything, so it's just ready, and uh, I'm super happy. <laughs> It's the little things, you know. I can't wait for retirement. Yeah, that's it. I can't wait for retirement. Let me give you a quick once around um, of the basement. Um, yeah, you know, it's the basement. It's not great, but um, I want to show you that this actually doesn't take that much room in the basement. Some of you probably think it does, but to me it doesn't. Um, it looks really cool. Okay, so I still have this piece of wood here that's a leftover. Uh, don't mind vacuum. Um, if you, yeah, dog food right there. If you remember when you come in, you have my, um, which was my only sewing table. That was my cutting table and sewing table. Now it's going to be just a cutting table, which is great because I can push it a little bit more. And then, you know, all my projects and all my fabrics here, you see it, it's staying pretty much organized right because once you find the right system um, you can keep it clean all right and when you move to the left here you have this right here um, and it's looking really really cool so this has been all caulked if you can see that um, so every little space has been filled including the space here between the two um, it's looking really good over here. Tomorrow I'm going to prime it and paint it. Uh, the basement is alright. Actually the kids didn't do too bad in the last month, but it does, but it did need to be vacuumed. So when you look at, don't mind that, that's boxes I got to store. Um, when you look at it from this side, hold on. From this side of the basement, okay, it's not bad at all. Forget about the boxes, right? You're not gonna be here. And then right here, I'm probably gonna put like a uh, um, a curtain. I could use that big piece of wood, uh, but I don't want to do that. Um, I think I need some ventilation underneath that desk. Um, so yeah, and then the laundry room over there. I'm still doing laundry at the same time. I'm on my third load. Um, and from this angle, this is, uh, I'm sorry, I'm moving too much and too fast. Uh, this is what it looks like. So, yeah, <laughs> it's really cool. Right, so this was my uh, day in the life. The lighting is so weird. I'm yellow in the front, white in the back <laughs> um, for today or a vlog, whatever you want to call it. Um, I built that desk and I told you in the last uh, video um, that was sometimes last week that I was moving into doing um, indoor projects throughout the whole winter and this was number one on my list so it's almost done I'm super excited the chair was a street flying too by the way um, yeah <laughs> uh, this is great and then I have just you guys the stuff right here um, you know my uh, little mementos and whatnot so it's uh, it makes it very special I tell you what I'm gonna do um, I'm probably gonna bring my other tea kettle electric kettle here and do like a little tea station right here because Lord knows I drink a lot of that stuff and it would be very nice to be able to just uh, do a tea here. And plus, two of you have sent me really, really um, beautiful um, sewing-related mugs. So they'll be perfect here with a tea kettle. And I can spend time with the kids. I can listen to um, music from the TV if I put on the uh, uh, radio, um, you know, channels or music channels or you know, like Christmas music or whatever. Um, this is my happy place. I, I don't know how else to explain it. I'm happy here. I really am. Um, and this basement has changed so many times over the years. You remember I had a desk here because I just couldn't take it anymore. I had to do my stuff here. Um, and then I realized that I wasn't doing it anyway because I like to do paperwork upstairs. Um, and now it's my sewing station, but that's because I wasn't doing sewing back then. 
um, I'm really really enjoying it so I can only encourage you now that you know how to do it to do a desk like this and you see I'm keeping it simple right it's really not anything like super concept or anything now you know how to do it or how I did it I encourage you to do the same thing um, if you're a scrapbooker or you're somebody who has some kind of scrap craft or if you sew like I do um, this is gonna be making a huge difference I feel like a pro <laughs> I feel like a pro now um, and I can spend time with the kids everybody can watch TV um, this is great this is great this is the best setup for this uh, sewing station so far Lord knows what other concept I'm gonna come up with like pulleys coming from the ceiling whatever <laughs> but this is uh, I'm very happy anyway all right, I'll see you in the next video. It's probably going to be another uh, vlog type. Um, what's going on next? I'm going to have a tea, enjoy a um, banana and peanut butter sandwich, uh, and watch some news. Um, ugh. Probably watch Midsummer Murder instead, and um, enjoy the rest of the night. And then I'll see you tomorrow for me, uh, in a couple of days for you, when I'll paint it, put the machine on, and maybe I'll sew a little bit, something very simple, you know, um, to see how that works out. Because I don't know if the chair needs to be higher or not. Um, I don't think so. I don't think it needs to be higher. I don't feel like I'm crooked, even though the floor is a little crooked, not by much. Uh, but I, I don't feel like I'm crooked. Usually when you have a floor that's uneven, uh, by the time you're done doing anything, your back is all messed up because you've been overcompensating for, you know, the uh, uh, change in level on the floor. Um, but I'm not feeling anything right now, so that's that. I'm happy as a pig in mud. Well, yes, I am. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll see you next time. Um, I don't know what's going on for dinner. I'll probably finish that soup and uh, have a salad with it, and that would be it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the desk. Comment down below. Let me know what you think of this space and how I am transforming it. I almost feel like there's too much brightness over there. Um, it's kind of weird to see those two different colors, but I guess these are different light bulbs. That's probably why. But at least, you know what, I'm not catching a shadow where I'm at right now. Um, because I have the uh, recessed light right here, and this is great. I'm not seeing a shadow. So that's really perfect. It's perfect for me. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, you guys. Bye! Hey, it's me, and guess what? Click that thumbs up if you really like this video. Thumbs down twice if you didn't. You can also share my video if you really, really liked it, or save it to watch later. Also, you can subscribe to my channel, but don't forget to click that bell button so you are always notified when I post a new video. Thank you for watching!